In the previous course titled Building RESTful APIs with JAXRS, we built a RESTful API called Messenger and we hosted it in Tomcat. So the way we configured and bootstrapped the JAXRS application was by writing a servlet in web.xml, right? It was a web application, we had a web.xml file and we created a servlet which was a Jersey servlet, right? It was a servlet class that came with Jersey. We configured it to handle our requests and that's how the application was bootstrapped. So when the request came in, it was the Jersey sublet which handled it and then passed control to our classes and our uh, code. Well, we could use the same thing even here, but I'm gonna show you an alternative way of bootstrapping a JAXRS application. Because the thing is, even though we're using Tomcat here, we don't actually have to use Tomcat or for that matter, any servlet container when you're creating a RESTful API. So having to use a servlet kind of enforces that you have to use some kind of a servlet container. Now, what if you don't want to use a servlet container? What if you just want to create an app uh, that just runs as a simple Java class? So you could potentially do that. But the thing is, if you're using a web.xml, you have to use servlet containers. So JAXRS has this alternative way of bootstrapping uh, your application, which has nothing to do with web.xml and nothing to do with servlets. So Jersey comes with this class called application, and that's how you bootstrap your JAXRS app. Uh, we're gonna learn how to do that in this lesson. Okay, so we're gonna create a new Maven project, which will be a starting point for our JAXRS application. So I create a new project by right-clicking in the Project Explorer tab, choosing New, Other, and uh, look for Maven. There should be a Maven project here. So I'm gonna select that, click Next, hit Next again. Now I need to choose the Maven archetype. I'm gonna choose the web app archetype. You should see this in this list. It's a Maven dash archetype dash web app. This is like a standard starting point when you're building a web application using Maven. So I'm gonna choose that, hit Next, and give it a group ID, and an artifact ID. And uh, click Finish. Um, what this is gonna do is get that Maven archetype and construct a project with the coordinates that I specified. So you basically have a palm.xml here and uh, some folder structure for us to get started with. Now, the thing about this archetype is it's pretty old. So if you look at the palm.xml, you see there's no Java version specified. Now, let me let me do this and expand the libraries tab. You see, there's this is pointing to Java SE 1.5, which is like ancient. So uh, we need to make some changes here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open palm.xml let me clear everything that's not the configuration for our project over here. So I'm gonna remove all the stuff. Okay, so this is this is bare bones, right? It has the group ID, artifact ID. The packaging is a war, right? Version number is fine. These things, we'll just leave it at the default. But now I need to add some additional configuration for our JAXRS project. So let's think about the dependencies. What are the dependencies we need? First, we need a dependency on Jersey, right? Because that's the framework we're using for building our REST API. So I'm gonna add the Jersey dependency over here. So it's the group ID is our Glassfish Jersey bundles. And there is this bundle called JAXRS RI. So this bundle is all you need. This contains all the Jersey dependencies that you would ever need. So if you have this, you got Jersey, right? If <laughs> that Jersey is covered. The dependency that I'm gonna add is Moxie. If you remember from the introductory course, Moxie is the framework that Jersey uses to convert from our Java instances to JSON instances. We don't need any extra dependency if we're converting to XML because we've got JAXP with Java, but if you're converting to JSON, we need this guy, we need Moxie. We're not gonna use Moxie for at least a few more tutorials, but I'm just gonna add it in there so that this project becomes a nice template, a nice starting point for any of your other work. Now I'm gonna close the dependencies tag. All right, so we're done with dependencies now. What I'm gonna do is 
change the Java version. Right now, like I said, it's 1.5, which is bad. So I'm adding this build section, which contains a Maven compiler plugin. So what this Maven compiler plugin does is force the Java version to be something apart from the default. The default is 1.5. We didn't add anything, we got 1.5. We don't want that. So I'm specifying 1.7 over here. You should be at least 1.7 if you want to follow along this course. So this is basically specifying a compiler plugin to force our project to 1.7. So I'm going to save this and uh, let's rebuild the Maven. Go to Maven and say update project, right? This updates all the dependencies. Now we see we have Java 1.7 and we have all the Jersey related jars, right? So all the Jersey stuff is thanks to this one dependency. It gets the whole bundle. And then we got Moxie for JSON. All right, I'm just gonna throw in a couple of properties here, one for the Jersey version and one for the project encoding. This is always a good thing to have, make sure it's UTF-8. I'm not using the Jersey version property here because I'm hard coding the Jersey version, but it's a good thing to do, have a property reference so that you can just change it in one place. This is a simple project, so I'm not gonna bother. I save this and now we're done with pom.xml. We got the dependencies in place. Now let's create the application. 